Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. Today I'm sitting in a 2006 Dodge Grand Caravan and I will show you which fuses to check in case your radio is not powering up, like in my case, or if there is maybe no sound coming from the speakers. This video applies to Dodge Grand Caravans made from 2001 all the way up to 2007. Now the fuse box is located under the front hood just next to the battery. To remove it you'll have to press on the two clips, one is right here and other one is here. So press on the one, the second one and just lift it straight up. On the back side of this cover you will have also a nice uh, fuse diagram which can help you out. Okay so the first two fuses to check would be two 20 amp fuses. It's this one right here and the one just next to it and those two are responsible for power to the head unit. Okay, next fuse to check would be also a 20 amp fuse which is located right here. It's an IOD fuse and that's responsible for the CD changer. So you can also pull it out and see if the wire inside is broken or not. Okay, so in my case this was the burnt fuse and that's why the radio didn't work. So it was the 20 amp IOD fuse. I hope you can see it. This is how a burnt fuse look. The wire inside will be broken, correct? So I just used a different fuse, put it in to test it and the radio started right away. But I will still show you one more fuse you have to check and a relay which can also go bad sometimes. So in case your radio does power up, but there is no sound coming from the speaker, most likely you are having problems with this uh, big 30 amp fuse. You don't even have to pull it out because you, because you can see the wire from the top. So as you can see in my case, the wire is good. It's not broken. So my fuse is good. And the last thing you should be checking is this relay right here. Uh, this relay on these vans sometimes goes bad, so if all the fuses are good, what you, what you can try doing, just try switching this relay with a different relay of the same kind. Uh, you should have a couple of them uh, down here, so just try to switching them and see if that uh, helps with the radio or just test the power to this fuse right here. If this relay is bad, there will be no power uh, at this fuse. Okay, thank you for watching this short video. I hope it was helpful and educational. If it was, please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel you can find lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.